Top Gun Maverick won an Oscar this year for Best Music and was the second highest grossing movie of 2022, making almost $1.5 billion worldwide. The movie was released last year, over 30 years after the events of the original. At the time of the movie's release, several memes flooded the internet on how youthful Tom Cruise looks and has been able to maintain the same look and fitness even after three decades. And that made me think, even though Tom Cruise still kind of looks the same, the world has since changed a lot. Here are a few ways how the world has changed from Top Gun 1's release in 1986 to Top Gun 2's release in 2022. In these 30 years, we have welcomed a new millennium. The world has passed two generations, Millennials and Generation Z, since the first movie. And we are well into the Generation Alpha. The world population has changed from just under 5 billion in 1986 to 8 billion in 2022. Life expectancy has since increased by nearly 10 years. And in general, the world today has more education and less poverty. The number of global women in the workforce today has increased to 50% and female presence in major corporations is ever increasing. The world GDP has risen from 15 to more than 100 trillion dollars. The combined land surface air and sea surface water temperature has also risen about 0.6 degrees Celsius. Deforestation has claimed more than 3 million square kilometers of the forest cover worldwide since 1986, which is nearly the size of India. These are some of the world's statistics, but if you get on a DeLorean and travel back in time, you will be quite surprised on how the world used to be. The Information Age There is a reason why your dad struggles with the iPhone and has little to no interest in Instagram. This was the pre-internet era, and people barely even used cell phones and computers. It is a completely foreign concept for today's youngsters to imagine life without a mobile phone. Indeed, if you go back, people using a chunky Motorola were the height of fashion. To take a phone out of your pocket and communicate on the go was still a novelty and something out of a science fiction movie. If you didn't have a mobile phone, you'd have to experience the delight of a public phone box to get your message across. The house phone would be shared between all family members. These were the telephones, which had a spiral cord attached to them. Oh, and you had to memorize a bunch of phone numbers. Need to get an order out to a vendor quickly? You probably had a secretary type up a memo on an actual typewriter which you'd send via fax, or maybe you were using a telex machine. Computers, too, only came in the desktop model with a huge CRT monitor, and you could send an email through the phone line with the help of a modem. No AOL or Gmail quite yet. The internet didn't happen until 1991. Today, it's hard to imagine the time without email. For many of us, our day starts with checking our email. You couldn't Google your way to find an answer to something unknown. For that, you either had to ask another person, go to a library, or use yellow pages. How the times have changed. Browsing the net has become a pastime in and of itself. And who knows, maybe more people will turn to TikTok than Google in the future. Catching up with a long-distance friend, WhatsApp or Messenger didn't exist back then. It was more common for people to keep in touch with each other by sending letters. Remember those? No, not emails, not texts, letters, written by hand, on paper, mailed via snail mail, with a postage stamp, small sticky labels pasted on the right corner. The computers came equipped with a floppy drive and a capacity of one megabyte, and a hard drive with a capacity of 40 megabytes at best. The Windows Operating System 1.0 was launched just a year before in 1985, an upgrade from the MS-DOS computing days. Apple's iconic Macintosh computers also debuted a couple years ago in 1984 that helped define what computers have become today. Console games looked very different, and arcades served as de facto recreation centers for the kids. Anyone up for a game of Zelda or Super Mario Brothers? Now because of high-speed internet, you can stream a movie on Netflix or have access to music on Spotify or just YouTube how to cook a meal. But these luxuries didn't exist back in the day. The entertainment landscape was restricted to a few channels on the television, 
which had to be tuned in with a dial. In 1986, you either showed up to watch the television show on TV, or you had to remember to tape it with your VCR. You wanted to hear music on demand? Well, you either bought an LP or cassette with the songs you wanted, or you may listen to it on the radio's evening broadcast. Movies were fewer, and barring the occasional video rentals from video stores, watching blockbuster films from old-style film projectors in the theaters was the best weekend getaway. Oh, and by the way, 80s movies hit different. Aliens, Back to the Future, Predator, Rocky, The Karate Kid, Star Wars, Die Hard, E.T., The Shining, the list goes on. An arguable but similar claim can be made on the music. Madonna, Michael Jackson, Prince were at their peak, and not to mention the golden age of rock music. Most of the pop stars of today, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Ed Sheeran, weren't even born then. Famous people. In 1986, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates were starting their PC journey. Jeff Bezos had just graduated from Princeton, ready to work in a fintech telecommunications startup. Elon Musk, Larry Page, and Sergey Brin were still nerdy teenagers, and Mark Zuckerberg was still in his nappies. In 2022, Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and Tesla are now collectively worth more than $8 trillion. Until 1984, there were only nine McDonald's in the entire world. There are now at more than 38,000 locations in over 100 countries. Not long before 1986, Nike hoped for $3 million in Air Jordan sales over four years. In 2022, Nike generated $3 million in Jordan sales every five hours. Sports persons like Patrick Mahomes, Virat Kohli, and even Lionel Messi weren't born yet. Speaking of Lionel Messi, 1986 was the year Argentina last won the Football World Cup, something that they accomplished once again in 2022. The world political figures have changed from Mikhail Gorbachev, Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, to Vladimir Putin, Joe Biden, Rishi Sunak, and so on. Donald Trump was still a celebrity back in 1986, but kept his business to casinos and real estate. Though Brexit happened, England's Queen Elizabeth was still the Queen Regent at the time of the second movie's theatrical release. Unfortunately, she passed away later in the year at the age of 96. Global Landscape the Soviet Union fell, ending the decades-long Cold War, and the rise of the internet ushered in a radical new era of communication, business, and entertainment. However, the prolonged wars in Iraq and Afghanistan shifted the idea of a new democratic wave from optimism to skepticism. In 1986, the United States had a controversial and politically divisive international presence, with growing challenging diplomatic relations with China, tense pseudo-hostile relations with Russia, and increasingly meddling relations with Middle East Asia. In 2022, the United States had a controversial and politically divisive international presence with growing, challenging diplomatic relations with China, tense pseudo-hostile relations with Russia, and increasingly meddling relationships with Middle East Asia. I guess some things don't change too much. The end of the Cold War also saw the triumph of a set of ideas like those of the free market economy and, to some extent, liberal democracy. This cleared the way for the creation of a truly global economy, one integrated market. This has led to the rise of Asian countries in the global economy and politics. China has emerged as one of the superpowers in the last couple of decades. Virtually everything today is manufactured in China. In these 30 years, the London Eye Observation Wheel, Dubai's famous marina, Kuala Lumpur's Petronas Towers all came into being. Conversely, the World Trade Center in New York, a pair of towers were destroyed by terrorist attack in 2001. 1986 was the year of the worst nuclear accident in history at Chernobyl. Three nations since, 
India, Pakistan, and North Korea have tested and become nuclear powers. 1986 was also the year of the Challenger space shuttle accident. But since then, the steady advances of our science have triumphed. We saw the launch of the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescopes and the International Space Station. We now know the universe is constantly expanding at an accelerated rate. Today, we have confirmed the existence of thousands of exoplanets and other major celestial bodies. And of course, we also have photos of the occasional supermassive black hole. With the World Wide Web, the commercial possibilities have become limitless, and convenience has greatly improved. The basic science has immensely progressed for five great waves of technology. Personal computers, telecommunications, biotechnology, nanotechnology, and alternative energy. Sustainability will become one of the key driving forces in research and technology development. Lifestyles and social trends. People used to buy magazines and newspapers were delivered to your door, as was milk, daily. People wore baggy pants and the floral prints and flannels were in vogue. It was an era of over-the-top silhouettes, teased perms, and saturated colors. There were years of puffed shoulders and power suits, flashy skirts and spandex leggings, bell bottoms, leg warmers, and voluminous parachute pants. Tattoos were rare and rather unfashionable. Smoking was still pretty common. Now it has changed to vaping. Life was slower back then, and people were more patient. If you had to go for a movie, you couldn't pre-book, and so to guarantee your ticket involved the art of queuing. The majority of professionals did daily commuting to work. Post-COVID, a far greater percentage of professionals are reported to be working remotely, most or all of the time. Most people hailed a taxi with a wave of a hand. Now people get an Uber in an instant with a couple of touches of their smartphones. If you were to meet someone, you would have to just wait patiently until the other person showed up. With the ubiquitous connectivity we have at our disposal today, this simply doesn't happen anymore. We drop a let me know when you're on your way home text instead of sitting around. Maybe 36 years from now we can look back again and be happy to see how the world has changed. Where will we be then? We might not have flying cars or alien invasions, but maybe we will have an AI do everything for us, from writing a school project to driving our cars. With the pace of change accelerating at a ridiculous rate, it's hard to even imagine. The world will keep on growing, yet come closer and be more inclusive at the same time. Change is inevitable, and we will see our lives unfold through time. In any case, may we all be around to find out. I'm making ways to leave this place I'm drowning